Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So one of the questions I get a lot on um, comments and emails and whatnot is for people who are beginning in their mixed media or their art journals, even ATCs. So a lot of you do not have art journals. Um, I've showed many, many, uh, I have many videos showing rather uh, how to make your own, but I know that, you know, paper can be expensive and the time and all that kind of thing. So um, one of my favorite things that I have done and that I do, and I know I have to do another junk journal, but is to take pieces of, this is from a magazine. It's a, um, insert, you know, where they have you, uh, sign, you know, sign it, send it in, get a free magazine, whatever. Um, and this just happens to be, you know, something that was in there, but of course, um, there are millions of different kinds. Um, this is like a light cardboard, as you can see, um, you know, it's like one of those inserts and you can, you can use a page, rip a page out. It doesn't matter. You can see this is the one side and all I did was I gessoed the side. Now for those of you who are starting out, you know, there's many different supplies and, and things that, you know, you can buy. Uh, you can go very basic. Like I tell you guys, you know, your Roy G. Biv in black and white, which is your red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and your black and white. You can make all the colors from that, all different variations. Um, that's a great way to start out. Um, and there's very basic ways to start out where you don't have to feel like you're doing mixed media where you're gluing and, um, you know, taping and gluing and ripping and, and doing layer after layer after layer. I love to do up to 10 layers sometimes on mixed media. Um, and so we're going to do a very basic, like I said, you can do this as an art journal page, um, you know, whatever way you want to do it. When you're done, if you have a bunch of these, um, when you're done, we can attach them and then they could become a journal or you can, um, you know, just hang them on your walls in front of you, give them away as random acts of kindness, which I encourage. I think it's great for, um, you know, you to do some art and this is very inexpensive and easy to mail because it's very thin and people love to get, um, little pieces of art and whatnot, uh, in the mail as a surprise. So all I've done is I gessoed this. Now here's the thing. If you don't have gesso, use your white uh, paint. If you don't have white paint, acrylic paint, use whatever color you have. Um, I have recipes on how to make gesso. I have all that kind of stuff. Um, or you can just use your coupons at your local craft stores and go get a gesso. They come in all kinds of different price ranges. So totally up to you. Today, we're going to do um, something a little bit different. Now, as you can see, I gessoed this. This is just flat paper. So you really don't, with these colors I'm going to use, you really don't have to gesso. So depending on your colors, you might want to do pastel. You want to might, you know, do whatever. Um, so, you know, just play around. If you put a coat of metallic, I'm going to be using metallic or a coat of color and it doesn't cover. And you're like, oh no, throw gesso on top. You're not going to hurt anything. So here we go. So we have this gesso dried. I did it for, um, purposes of filming, but um, I'm going to do a base coat of one of these two colors and I can't decide whether I want to do a tangelo or a soft blue. And I think I'm going to use these colors. This is Regal Red. These are from Folk Art, these ones. This is Metallic Amethyst and this is Christmas Green and they're metallics. Um, so I'm very excited to see how these come out. Let me see if you can see. I moved my camera in and didn't realize it. There we go. All right. So I'm going to shake this up because it's gloss. Now, I might not want to use gloss. I might want to rethink that one. <laughs> now, I can always use regular, you know, um, acrylic orange if I want. I just want something to pop through. I think that might be too light. I think I, orange is calling to me. So I think that's where we're going. Now, let me tell you something. This is one of Emily's makeup pads and they come in packages. I think they're like about a hundred in a package. Um, I think she buys like three of them in a thing um, from the Walmart. You can get these at your local drugstore. I think even the dollar stores might have them. They're cotton. Um, but to use to, you know, to add on um, 
paint or product or when we're going to stencil or whatever we're going to do, these are really great. Um, and you can even, if you're cheap like me, rinse them out very easily and um, just lay them to dry. <laughs> you know, you can get a couple uses out of them. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do some squirting. Now, something I like to do, I don't need this to be so opaque underneath, which means opaque means so covered. I really don't need that because I'm going to be doing on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush that I used to, to gesso. I'm going to give it a little squish in the water. I'm going to give it a little, I don't want it all the way dry, but I don't necessarily want it dripping. And I'm just going to go in and what it's going to do is going to liquefy that paint a little bit and help it spread a little bit more. And if you need more water, by all means. And there's a little gesso left in my brush, and, and that's okay. I don't this is this is about having fun. And it's not about um, you know, worrying too much, I guess is and we're using we're not using too much product. And you see? We're just gonna lay that down. So you can still see some of that background on here. I don't care. But if you care, some people, you know, I'm OCD over things that other people aren't. Um, sometimes I say things when I do my um, art pages and whatnot, and people are like, oh, geez, you know, that doesn't bother me, but this bothers me. You know what I mean? So it's all in, um, you know, what, what bothers you? I'm going to real quick just wipe this up while it's wet, because I do know that if I do this while it's wet, although annoying to you guys, um, and if I could edit, I would edit this out. But you know, I don't want it to necessarily smear. And I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do first? I wanna show you guys this. Let me see if I can find a piece of, here we go. This is a piece of uh, printer paper. And I just scribbled something on the side that I was doing, but this is something you can do to even get more bang for your buck. I know, I'm cheap. I always like to say I'm cheap and easy. I'm going to give it a little squirt with just a little bit of water. And I'm going to lay this down. Go like this. Give it a good... Take it. And look. Now I'm building another mixed media paper. And all this is is a piece of printer paper. And look how cool the texture is on that. So you're kind of getting bang for your buck. You know what I mean? And we can continue layering and then we're going to have another piece here that you can cut down for an ATC or whatever, whatever you want. Okay. And I love the way it makes it look. And I'll show you once the water hits this. I didn't use my brush once the water was on. I just sprayed it on. And I want this to be completely dry because I want to, I don't necessarily want to lift any of this orange up. And when you're using a thinner piece of paper, whether it's printer paper or something like this, dry the underneath. Because I don't know if you can see, it's just a little damp and it's not a big deal. It just takes a second. If you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, go to your thrift store. There are a couple bucks. Um, and if you don't have a couple bucks to buy the hair dryer, just leave it dry for a few minutes. It's literally going to take five minutes for it to dry. Do two minutes on one side and turn it so the back has the other. And that's all we're doing. I don't want it to lift up when I do the next color. Let me show you. Look at that. Look how gorgeous. And you can see this is a little darker over here, and I don't care. I don't care. And this is just matte, regular acrylic paint, okay? So not a big deal. Didn't want to, what way do I want to go this way? Okay, so now I'm going to pick stencils or stamps or whatever you want. I think what I'm going to start, I'm going to do is, what am I going to do today? Do I want to, let's do stamps today, just because. And we're going to do very basic. You don't have to have a lot of stamps. So I'm either, I was going to use a stencil and then I decided not. So 
I'm going to use two stamps. And again, use a stencil. If you only have one stamp, use it. I have uh, videos on how we can make our own stamps. I have more of those coming up. You guys love those. And um, I love doing them. Now I'm going to take some white paint. Again, you don't have white paint, um, use gesso. <laughs> it doesn't, you know, we're not, it's not that big of a deal. I think, no, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm not going to stamp first. Let's do this instead. I'm going to take this. This is what I'm going to do. Want this to, I like to just give it a little bend out the other way just so it sits a little better. Okay. Um, the lightest of the green, purple, and red, I think, is going to be the purple. So I'm going to shake it up because these are metallic. You want to kind of give them a shake. And I'm going to open it. I'm gonna... Now, let me show you something I've been doing lately. Can you see how this has all this build up? And it really needs to be taken off. I've been going through my paints as I use them and taking that off because I noticed that it doesn't seal as well, obviously, right? Because there's something blocking it. So if you just take a paper towel or if it's too hard, I might have to get a knife or scissors, an exacto knife or my scissors to peel that up. But usually it comes off very easily. And then you get a way better seal because sometimes it just dries it out. I had one dry out and I was like, what the heck did I do? And then I noticed that I'm such a pig <laughs> and it just, that's what happens. Okay. So I'm not going to put anything down right now, um, stamp wise, but I'm going to take this and I'm going to, a dab will do you. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to lay some of this. Now I'm not going to put it everywhere. I'm just going to put it in certain places. Now here's the thing. And you can, you can kind of go like this if you want. You do whatever you want. It's yours, right? You want more? You want more of that metallic to come through? I'm going to lay more of that paint down. Maybe you don't want it kind of brushed on. You just, you know, dabbed on. You want it to... Oh, yeah. Okay. And you can see it dries, it dries fast. But do more. If you want it waterier, you know, to go on a little more transparent, translucent then by all means I want it to be a little darker now remember I don't want too much of the orange because as much of the orange coming through I'm gonna probably cover up more here because I'm digging the way that looks on there so I'm gonna go in and some people will um, write about me not using my hands like I should have gloves and all on it doesn't bother me I've been doing this for years and the paint is non-toxic um, but if it bothers you and you don't like to walk around with paint all over you by all means use a go to the dollar store and get yourself gloves or if you color your hair um, save the gloves that come with it or you know whatever you do you do whatever makes you comfortable that don't listen to anybody's you know Although I didn't, I don't think I've ever really heard anybody say, don't wear gloves, <laughs> but you know, you do what you, what's comfortable for you, especially if you're starting out. I get that people get nervous and, and worry and, and there's nothing wrong with that. All right. So that's all I kind of want going on. And you're going to see, I know it doesn't make sense right now, but it will, it will. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed through the next two colors and then I'll be back to tell you what we're going to do next. Okay, dokie. All right, so you can see I just left ended up leaving a little bit of the orange. I'm not worried about it. I'm not hating it. So can you see? I know with the light because it's shiny. But look how gorgeous that background is. 
Now that in itself is a beautiful, a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right. So I'm just, like I said, kind of giving it a roll, giving it a roll. No big deal. Now this, I used my makeup sponge and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to snip that top off. Now you can save this and then um, use it to, you know, after it gets harder, we'll leave it there because everything's good after it gets harder. We got this. Now let's use a stamp and we're going to use the stamp first and I'm taking this in and I'm going to dab it. I'm going to dab it. Now, look, if you want to use your um, stamp pad or whatever, by all means, but I'm going to just do a nice little dab and dab off. I don't want, you know, it's so bad that it's running everywhere and I'm just going to lightly, I'm not pushing down. I'm just barely touching it. If you need a little bit more, you just don't want too, too much that it runs and it very well might run. You might not do a lot and I might put this down and it runs, but you know what? It's about the journey. It's about progress, not perfection. Come on now. Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Okay. There we go. Now I'm just going to stamp. And I'm not worrying about how, you know, even or anything. I want, look at that. Look how gorgeous. I love the white. And I'm going to do another one. And I'm dabbing, 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 dabbing. Let's all dab together. Everybody? Anybody? All of us? None of us? Let's do this. And then I'm going to lay it right in the middle. Mind you, I want you to look. It's not, you know, it's not perfect, perfect. It's just getting some. And look here. I'm going to do a little bit there. And I think that's all I might do right now. Okay. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to take. Now, if you don't want to do white on top, by all means. Do whatever you want. Now, this one's going to be more detailed. So there's more of a potential to be blobby, which look, I'm blobby. Let's face it. Who am I kidding? I went to the beach this weekend in my bathing suit. I'm blobby. It's all right. I kept telling Dave, we're never going to see any of these people again. So be you, be true and enjoy the sun. <laughs> Although I will tell you, and this is awful and I'm ashamed to admit it, but I will admit it because I, you know, sometimes I've seen people on the beach and I've seen them sometimes mostly men, but I've seen them in their little bathing suits and all and think, good God, the nerve you must have, you know, why somebody let them leave their house. See, I'm talking bad and look, it didn't even stamp good, but that's okay. Let's do it again. That just means I need a little bit more because it's finer print, you know, finer finer detail. So let's go in and you don't even have to stamp everywhere. You know, it doesn't have to be everywhere on here. When you lay it down, we're laying it down. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it over there. Huh, a little bit better. That's all right. I'm not going to cry. Yeah, see, that didn't do that good. <laughs> All right. Let's think about this for a second. Hmm. I think I might need the magical foam underneath is what I think. So let's try it one more time and then go from there. I think I might need some well, uh, what paint. All right. A little bit more. And a little bit more, a little bit more. I'm going in a little thicker, a little thicker, a little thicker. Okay. Let's try it with the pad underneath, shall we? Ah, still did nothing. Something's not hitting right. It's all right. I'm an adapter. I adapt. Life doesn't let me not adapt. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So that's not doing what I wanted to do, but I'm okay. It's still doing, you know, 
basically basically i could keep with that because that made a real nice real nice um thing but you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a stencil because i'm gonna improvise now i love these little snowy balls because i'm gonna make well you'll see i'm gonna do a page so but anyway um let's see let's just do it here and we'll get some of this very light nothing we just want to break up some of that dark like that see we improvise and then we'll do one right here and we'll do one right here now you can see my paint's getting dry so what i like to do sometimes if i don't want to like spray out anymore i'll give it a little bit of a moisture what a horrible word and see you know if that'll reconstitute it if it's not too far gone see that way i don't have to pour out more and i can just kind of finish what i'm doing very light see 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 all right okay all right okay okay i think no word in there um i think i might do one right here now a lot of stencils have and you're going to see they have these little marks on them right can you see it right here that's so you can even up on that line like where if you're doing this on a wall or whatever and you can um line up so you get it you know you get it get it get it done but what i'm going to do is see right here i think i'm going to use this little mark let's see if we can get any paint in there to give us yep look at that let's use everything right why not why not add a little bit of this in there see i'm loving this right here so i really don't want to touch that but I'm just laying this in just so we get a little bit. And of course, you know, you can draw or whatever. Okay. So I think that's all I'll do on that right now. Again, spray some water on here or dip it in your water and squeeze it out and it won't dry hard from the acrylic paints. And then you can um, reuse it over and over. I mean, you'll get to a point where it'll be like, all right, enough. You know what I mean? But you'll get quite a few uh, dabs out of it. And he doesn't like quite a few dabs when it comes to art. Of course. Of course. All right. I know. Obsessive today. I'm a little obsessive. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to draw it. Now here's a nice little background. Look at that. Gorgeous. There's nothing, not a thing wrong with this. It's a piece of paper. Now, listen, you could have just sewed both sides if you wanted. You know, just sewed the one, let it dry, just sewed the other, it dries very quickly. And then you have both sides to work on. So that's even more bang for your buck. I just didn't do that uh, when I started that. But <clears throat> now, if you don't have this, okay, like if you don't have a stencil or whatever, if you have anything that's circular, um, if you have a cotton ball, anything that you can dip in your white paint and then dip it and then you get these little blobs and you'll get little texture around it because, you know, when you push it down, the paint kind of disperses everywhere. Um, but yeah, so, you know, if you have something like this, I'm probably when I have my next giveaway of things, I'm going to give, I'm going to give some, like some, a few of these away, like some things I have that are like, things that you might not necessarily have. It's going to be like a little mixed media kind of giveaway, but anyway, that's coming up. But so if you are interested in a giveaway, please subscribe down below and click that button next to it, the little bell. So you get notified when I put up new videos and click the like button to let me know that you like my videos. So what I'm going to do, here we are, mixed media background, art journal page, um, ATC background, ATC, whatever, you know what I mean? Use this to your advantage. Do an ATC background, right? 
you can cut the this in your squares before you put these do this as an ATC background put a white blob or two and then do what I'm about to do so I love stamps and I love inspirational words this is a word that I cut out that's been sitting waiting for me to use it on something you can glue it down you can put that there you can um, use a stamp and you can stamp right in there um, what color would I use to stamp I don't know what color maybe white I probably would even use white or black and stamp it in there and then you would get that word um, imagine I've been playing around with my clay and making like little faces and I don't know how well I'd have to put it on autofocus of course because let's see if I can get that to autofocus see you can see the black behind it and how cute and so um, you know I you could put that somewhere you can doodle in these as well so I'm going to take let's see if we're going to keep this as a page, probably you can use a pencil or whatever you want. You can write words. You know, one of my favorite words is breathe. And then you can go and you can, oh gosh, you can outline, you know, just kind of scribble around it. Nothing needs to be perfect. You can draw little faces. Um, not my marker. Draw little faces. I mean, really, the world is your pickle. You do whatever you want to do. You can go in here and doodle. You know what I'm saying? So it's a really great way to either do a bunch of ATC backgrounds at once. Like I said, you cut these two and a half inches by three and a half inches. You cut these all out. You probably will get, you know, maybe six or eight of them out of here. And you got these great backgrounds. You use this as a background of an art journal page. You use this as a, um, you know, uh, I just lost all train of thought, art journal page for your art journal, ATC, all that kind of stuff. Um, random act of kindness, you know, and like I said, it's absolutely gorgeous and it's very, you know, limited supplies and you don't have to use metallic. I just happen to do it right now because that's what I grabbed and that's what I wanted to do. And I think it's got all of this. And like I said, the white on top, you don't want to do white, do black. You don't want to do black, do per, it doesn't matter. I like the white and I probably would go in as well with my, um, maybe my journal, my white art journal, uh, gel pen or my, um, Oh, what's my favorite white pen? I just lost all train of thought. I got a million things on my head, um, on my mind today. <sighs> I can't remember my favorite white gel pen, but anyway, again, you know, you can, well, if you're a gel pen writes, I know I need new, like I said, you can write, you can, you know, do whatever doodle. It doesn't matter. You can doodle in here and just follow it and follow it and follow it. Oh, the fun. Okay. I can sit here for hours and do this stuff, but I'm not going to bore you. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. Leave me a thumbs up. If you did, please share me around uh, by clicking the share button down below. And if you're not already and would like to be, please subscribe. The subscribe button is down below as well as the bell notifier next to it. So you get notified when I upload new videos and all my information is down below my group on Facebook, my Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, everything, email, address, everything is down below. And if you would like to uh, donate to me, my information is down below as well. I appreciate anything that you guys can do to help me keep my channel going. And just a little FYI for using acrylic paints on your stamps or your stencils, um, especially when you're using them, make sure you take your water and spray it on here before it dries. Let me just show you this because I know I'll get questions and I don't want anybody ruining their stamps. I use my stamps on mixed media, so I use them for everything. And just go and you'll see, it'll just wipe off 
You want to get it before it dries all the way. That's all I'm going to tell you because, you know, you know, if you want your stamps to continue um, stamping so, you know, perfectly like they were made. Me, like I said, mixed media, I'm okay with grunge and, and stuff. I don't have patience for this, but you can see. You know, depending on how anal you want to be. And you can always spray it again. And leave it sit just for another. I would leave it sit for probably a minute. And then spray it again and do it and you will be fantastic. Also, if you take, this is an old deodorant um, lid and dip that in your white paint and put it on, you'll get great circles as well. I forgot to do that, but I have videos on that as well. I love you guys. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Remember, we are progress, not perfection this month. I hope you guys are living that and are being true to yourselves in whatever way that means to you. I love you guys with all my heart. I am so blessed and thankful for each and every one of you. And I will see you guys in my next video. If you do decide to do this in any capacity, please tag me anywhere. Facebook, email it to me, Twitter, Instagram, wherever. And I like to put them at the end of my videos. Love you guys. See you in my next video.